brain surgeon, Academy Award winner, multi-billionaire, trillionaire. But there's something else you should know. I'm a person. A person who wants to investigate and experiment technology or theory that is relevant to physics theory curriculum. The invention that my fellow astrophysicists and I have chosen ran next is the telephone. I am Dr. Stephanie, and this is our special guest, Dr. Bean. Hello, I'm Dr. Bean. Well, Dr. Bean, could you tell us how the telephone works? Oh. <clears throat> well, of course, Dr. Stephanie. Um, the telephone here is made of several different parts. Um, first comes the switch that connects the phone to a network. When the hook, when it's on the hook, and the switch is pushed down. When it is off the hook, the switch is lifted and it's connected to a network. Then comes the handset which houses the speaker, microphone, and wire. The microphone is where you speak into, and the ringer alerts you when a call is coming in. The dialer and number pad is where you dial. Well, mm. Dr. Jubei, how does the telephone work? Well, Dr. Stephanie, it goes kind of like this. The hook is what connects you to a network when, when the phone is down on the receiver. The hook is open, so you're not connected to the network, and the ringer is enabled to notify you of calls. When the phone is off the hook, you're connected to the network, and the ringer is not enabled, so you cannot receive calls. The network? Hmm. Isn't that a bunch of cables all around the world that connect you to others? And two wires lead from a home phone to a telephone pole, which then connects you to every other wire? Why, well, yes, in fact, that is fact. Now, on to the number pad. Each number in the number pad sends a specific electrical signal through the network to the main bank. When the numbers are pressed in a specific order, you will be connected to the person you are trying to reach. This is why you can't dial when the phone is on the hook. Because the electrical signal can't be transmitted through the network. Therefore, no phone call. And next, I can tell everybody about the microphone. The microphone and the speaker are both encased in the handset. The microphone has a job of converting sound waves to electricity. The microphone is made up of the diaphragm, a, polar a polarized electret, and a copper wire attached to the circuit, which is always feeding the electret with current. When you speak, the sound waves your voice produces cause the air to vibrate. This causes the electret to vibrate. The current, is being, the current that is being fed is no longer constant because the electret is vibrating. The current then starts to fluctuate along with the vibrating electric. Now, sound waves have been converted to electricity. The current is magnified by the circuit inside the telephone, then is extended into the network, whoever is on the other side of the phone call. Next is the speaker. The speaker does the exact opposite of the microphone and converts the electricity to sound waves. The speaker is made up of the diaphragm, a metal coil attached to the diaphragm, and a magnet. The, the electric current flowing through the wire reaches the metal coil and causes it to become magnetized. Since it is being fed electric current, it is now an electromagnet. Since it is attached to the diaphragm, it does not get stuck to the magnet. Instead, it vibrates back and forth, causing the diaphragm to also move back and forth. Since the diaphragm is sensitive enough to be, to be caused to vibrate from vibrations in the air particles, it too can cause air particles to vibrate at its own frequency. This causes sound waves, which you hear as the other person's speech. Oh! <clears throat> oh. Sorry, Dr. Stephanie. Well, this relates to Physics 30, because some Physics 30 principles demonstrated in the operation of a telephone are electricity, magnets, and waves. The electricity running through the wires is what causes you to hear and be heard by the other party. The sound waves you create is what initially creates the change in the electric current. Once the metal coil is fed the current, it is turned into an electromagnet. This is, this was one of the principles for a magnetic unit. Social impacts of a telephone. From the telephones to cell phones, communication is now quick and easy as opposed to earlier technologies like the telegraph or letters. It has become a part of everyday life and now with cell phones, readily available. It is now simple to communicate during times of crisis or just on a regular day. 
bringing this to a more serious topic, some negative impacts are the lives been taken by the cell phone usage. 81% of the U.S. have admitted to texting while driving at one point or another. Texting while driving makes you 23 times more likely to have a collision. And in 2008, 5,870 people died as a result of someone texting while driving. In most people's careers, they will be using a telephone at some point or another. You will need to use it for international business connections and other things. Barbara Streisand. <laughs> Streisand. Barbara Streisand. Notice that I want it.